Austin's IP 617. Internet station. I Power 617. WIPB FM. Boston. I Power 617 Radio. Online 24-7. 24-7. So good. Keep this station locked on. You're listening to Marco Joe White on Pretty Ricky in Rafael Castro. Hip Hop and R&B Tuesday. The 617 Evening Show on IP 617. iPower617online.com. Celebrating Latino history, where knowledge and information is power. Latino America 365, 365 Latino. Right here, right now. 20 minutes, 20 minutes past la hora. Alright, it's time for the American Latino History Facts Presented by McDonald's Deeply rooted in the Latino American communities 365 It's 366 this year Because of the leap year Got a little known Latino history fact And hell no We don't wait for October To learn about our peoples and our history And don't forget Latino history is also American history And right now This is making historia This history fact is about the Jews Living in Santo Domingo de la República Dominicana Listen Sosua is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Dominican Republic, but what many visitors don't know is how Sosua's rich history of Dominican and Jewish accord is responsible for this thriving city. Bringing this history to life is an exhibition called the Sosua Project. Curator for the Museum of Jewish Heritage, Ilona Moradov, explains. When the Jews from Nazi Europe were desperately looking for a place to immigrate to, there were not many countries willing to take them in. The Dominican Republic renewed an offer they had already made in the mid-1930s to welcome refugees and also Jews in the Dominican Republic as agricultural settlers. What had once been an abandoned banana plantation became home to hundreds of German and Austrian Jews. As refugees adapted to the land, Dominican workers met them with open arms. Not only did they welcome them, and they did not show any signs of anti-Semitism, but they helped build barracks in the beginning just to make sure that these refugees would have places to stay at. They showed them how to uh, deal with the tropical climate, how to deal with uh, the agriculture in this tropical uh, climate. En la carnicería, en la industria del queso, trabajaban, daban mucha vida porque había muchos dominicanos. Incluso mi papá, que vivía de la construcción, 
The government was very, very helpful and supportive of the community, including the Dominicans. And whatever we needed or so on, there was no shortage whatsoever. Uh, they worked together in the workshops that were established. Um, the kids of Dominican workers went to school with the kids of the refugees. Uh, the refugees established a school in Susua. It was a multi-age kind of grouping in the school because there weren't that many children. We immediately started learning Spanish. As the two groups bonded through the settlement, other relationships formed, resulting in a proud Jewish Dominican community which still exists today. I was the first Jewish person in Sosua who married a Dominican girl. You know that some of these people uh, of uh, intermarriages were raised Jewish. They have a synagogue there, it's actually still in that uh, barrack uh, where the original synagogue used to be, but it's been renovated. Uh, so it's an active community. It's a small community, but an active community. And uh, very proud of their history, and they're very much part of the history of that town. And that was your Latino History Fact presented by McDonald's. Deeply rooted in the Latino communities, 365, 365 days a year. More hip hop and RB Tuesday coming up. Hang on. Tuesdays and Wednesdays and not busy miércoles. Only on Boston Nations for our evening show. I Power 617. Esplendido. Siempre. I Power 617. Hay poder 717. Papá, te gusta la miente. Cuando lo pones en nuestra historia, ¿entiende lo que estoy diciendo? The 617 Evening Show on IP 617. Hello, it's 25 minutes past Laura. Solo quiero hablar contigo Otra noche más que de ti no sé nada ¿Dónde te has ido hoy?